Hey, what's up? This is Derek Pierce. Welcome to the Scholar and the Sinner Show. We're so happy to have you. I'm just trying to be correct right now. And to my right, your left is I, today. Today, I got the I got the crazy shout out. I got a shout out today. I am Kip Low Brown. For those of you that don't know D Low Brown, he's a uh, renowned. We're talking about New Japan Pro Wrestling, WWE, wow, WWF, yeah, T and A. He was in Forces of Aces and Eights. Like he's shout out to our friend of the show, Samantha Mack. But for today, I'm Kip Low Brown. Try to do the head shake, D Low. I'm sorry, man. I don't know if I did it right. But well, you yeah. though don't got hair, so true, 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 true. So true. you just Absolutely. look like you just trying to go dumb. The, 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 Bay Area <laughs> shit, <laughs> dumb, Yee. dumb, dumb, dumb. So, <laughs> L, it's good to be had. It's good to be had, you guys, because you know I know everybody's going through something today. It's good to be had. Who had you? Kid? They're having us right now on their phones. <laughs> you on didn't their mean to say that, did you? I absolutely <laughs> meant to say that. <laughs> like I remember, I remember in college, someone would say it's good to see you, and we say it's good to be seen. That was always the response. Yeah, but then who had you if it's good to be had? They're having you right now. Oh, I'm a fucking whore. Yes, I mean, they're, but they're having both of us. They've had me. That's awkward. The, really? For well, you? Awkward? You just. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't we're, uh, we're being had right now. I didn't do chocolate. <laughs> what? That's a damn lie. Yeah, that is a lie. <laughs> you are equal opportunity. Yes, I am. I am equal opportunity. I just wanted to point out because I Kip does not have a mean streak in him. Mm -mm. It's you know it's a uh, forced. He he has good verbal awareness, right? Uh, he should. He's gone to school for that. Um, so I'm just gonna point out that I'm wearing a onesie today. Oh shit! Um, and I'm super, super happy about it. Wait and I'm minute. super excited wait, about wait it. Wait a minute! I'm wearing a onesie and hey, and uh, wait, wait, hold rock, on. Rock, 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 rock. Here, right here. All right, onesie. All the hey. Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing? Hey. What? Mm, wait uh -huh. a minute. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. D. What? D. So what happened? You know, the Second Amendment gives us the right to, to do wear certain shit, right? It gives us the right to wear onesies. No, no, we talk about what our forefathers actually had the premonition of of what happened. So you don't want me to tell everybody why that onesie is gangster as hell right now? <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're talking about? We're talking about a grown man Listen. in a onesie. A grown ass man in a onesie. And you better not say shit. You no. you better not, I, he double dares you to say I think he wore that onesie because it's like I wish a motherfucker would D why just, is that onesie so gangster hmm? because hmm? like a camo tank top camo tank top camo <laughs> tank top huh no 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 I mean I, I got say, other camo components too I say you should just put it on the table why man okay fine don't put it on the table but there happens to be a uh, uh, how do we like to say this what is the most political correct way which part. D is is totally being an American right now with his Second Amendment right. And if you don't know what the Second Amendment is, it is the right to bear arms. So I guess, you know, since we say whatever the fuck we want on this show, I guess carrying a gun might be important after we say whatever the fuck we want. Listen, this is this is what I keep trying to explain to people, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm as liberal as the day is long. Mm -hmm. I believe in pro-choice. I believe in women's rights. <laughs> um, I believe in your ridiculous notion to believe in an, an alter being that doesn't exist. Here we go with I the atheism in shit. All of that shit. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm cool with it. If it makes your life better and it doesn't directly affect me and my function every day, we're good. I got your back. Okay. Because I believe in all of these very very liberal activities, don't ever get it fucking twisted. <laughs> Second Amendment stays ready. Yeah. And we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. I am a practicing participant of the Second Amendment Absolutely. to the nth degree. So. Me, my brothers, most of them, we've all trained together. Um, there's a, on my Instagram, Derek Pierce, um, there's a bunch of training videos on there of us doing tactical shooting. Uh, I believe in that shit. And, and the way things have been going lately, uh, out in the street, like I've noticed in in my area, that uh, there's a couple apps they have for for the police uh, when they're um, going through arrests and things like that. And mm -hmm. things that were up were uh, let's see, uh, strong arm strong arm um, robberies, aggravated assaults, break ins, and I'm gonna let you know my house stays locked, which means. I stay loaded, and so do the people that live with me. So if you come up to my door, that means you trespassing because you came over the wall. So there's not going to be a happy reunion for you. So, I mean, that's kind of an American thing, though, right? Like, you're not going to take away our guns, right? And, and it's almost, you're kind of, 
reiterating and restating this idea in the hood it's better to be caught with it than to be caught without it yeah i'm i'm cool it's it's better to have it not need it than need it and not have it yeah right because then when the shit hits the fan and they got it and you don't it's like what people don't understand about shooting right is that if you are not armed the person shooting at you can literally stand there with impunity and fire away but if you return fire that motherfucker can't stand there no more they actually have to move because there are hot pieces of lead flying in their direction well, also you know and and listen i'm not running around trying to be a badass i didn't even tell them that i that i had paraphernalia true um it just kind of came up we were talking about my onesie um <laughs> but the, the the fact of the matter is is i'm not looking for a problem i'm right. gonna do everything i can i'm in ccw classes mm-hmm. so i can work on getting concealed because of where i live that's mm-hmm. an option mm-hmm. um and, and I'm very interested in those things, but there's a ton of responsibility that comes along with it. Absolutely. It's not, not just ha- about having it. Right. You know, you are responsible for your use of this activity. Right. So I had better be perfect in the eyes of the law if I ever have to defend myself with my firearm. Absolutely. Right. I'm, it's registered. I'm licensed. I train all the time. That's how you should be. You don't just go like I saw a bunch of people on the news mm-hmm. like, oh, shit, these people are getting crazy. Mm-hmm. I better go on and get me a gun. And then it's 50 questions and you have to load a dummy bullet. And yeah. they're like, so, so. And you're like, damn, damn. And then and then you fire that that full metal jacket in your apartment and you kill the old lady down the hall. Well, you kill the neighbor. Right. Yeah. Like you got to be aware. It's, it's it's interesting because it's you're refusing to be a victim. But you're not being like a, a bully. It's a difference. No. There's a difference in attitude here. And and listen, if if you want to throw them things, like that's I'm 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 okay with that. Right. And you know why I'm okay with that? Not because oh, I'm a badass. I'm whooping everybody ass. Because everybody goes home afterwards. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you 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 break my nose and I dot your eyes and cross your t's. You know what I mean? We all go home. Right. There's no coming home from a gunshot. Right. I don't think. Like, you know, the intent is not to maim. The intent is to defend it. If you die, you die. I'm not really, I don't really, that's not my goal, right? Mm-hmm, so if mm-hmm, I pull it, mm-hmm. it's because I feel that my life is dead threatened. Interestingly enough, there was, you know, when everybody was hoarding toilet paper, right? <laughs> yes. You know, what our brothers was hoarding. Ammo. Our brothers was going to get ammo. And side note is, Right before the coronavirus actually hit, Walmart had like a clearance sale of all its ammunition. They were getting huh. rid of every. It oh was right, like right, right. Because everything. in California, you have to account for every round, every single round. So, I mean, I believe that there's such thing as a responsible gun ownership. Yeah, yeah. You I think can, most gun. I think most gun owners are extremely responsible. I do, I do. I 100% I think most gun owners are extremely responsible. Okay. They might not take it to the degree that me and some of our family have, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. like all the training and right. the tactical and all that kind of stuff. But right. I think they're responsible. I think the majority of them know how to shoot their firearm, know how to clean their firearm, mm-hmm. know how to obviously load it, right. keep it locked away if that's what they want to do with it. Like I, I, I think that, that that's... A part of it. I right. think there's some fucking morons out there too, though. Yeah, but you know, it's it's that adage, right? That mm-hmm. that small percentage kind of overshadows one the, bad apple. Yeah, yeah, one bad apple spoils a bunch because you know we say firearm, people think about that Hollywood shooter that happened in like the '90s. Remember when them dudes had them AK-47s? Yes. The, oh, in the, North Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood shooting, oh, right? North Hollywood shooting. Right. It was not going down. <laughs> the, 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 that was the bank robbery at Bank of America yes. on on Laurel Canyon and Ventura Boulevard. That shit I was crazy. There. Look, man, the Armenian dudes had body they, armor. They were and not they took going down. fucking uh, uh, they took a bunch of muscle the, relaxers so that when the bullet hit them their muscles wouldn't tighten up so you Talk know the funny thing was, was is the cops were extremely outgunned yeah and they were going to B&B gun store which was like a mile and a half away mm-hmm. and literally like walking in and taking shit off the shelves right. it was like we're gonna die right. if we don't get some right. weapons listen I honestly I honestly think that if we are to own guns there should be some type of uh, like like some type of legislation that means that the individual has to have some type of education because what we I end agree. up what, what we end up having is not just the the safety of having the gun, it's the safety yeah. of keeping the gun. Sure. Because when we say gun and continued <clears throat> continued training. And continued training. Because when we say gun, right, there are a couple things that pop up in the imagination of, of the like American public in the North Hollywood shooting or mm-hmm. the Columbine high school shooting. Like these things uh, you know, like dialing Ruth walking into a church. You know, what I mean, these I, these. Things I think are, these things are horrible tragedies. Right. I also don't think that every gun owner in America should be responsible because there was a couple of fucking assholes and psychos that right. happened to get their hands on guns. Now right. that being said, if 
in in my opinion, if they upped the the um, the requirements for mm -hmm. you to have a gun. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know why I'm okay with that? Because right. I'm not fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a yeah. responsible, legitimate yeah. firearm owner. Right. I mean, there is there is legislation in place now that restrict the type of gun you can have, right? And you know yeah. the whole the the worst thing about the whole AR-15 thing is that there are uh, other guns that don't look as mean, right. but fire a way larger bullet. Well, right. Yeah. There's other shit out there that will fuck you up well, way worse than the AR-15. The majority, and I will blame liberals for this, the majority of these liberal politicians mm -hmm. that are like, these ARs are crazy. We have to ban these things. You have to make magazines that can't come out, and you have mm -hmm. to cock the gun because they're assault rifles. They're not mm -hmm. a fucking assault rifle. It's right. not an assault rifle. Right. AR does not stand for assault rifle. It never has. It never will. It is not an assault rifle. Right. It's just a really cool looking gun. Right. But I'm also pissed off at the people that act like that's what they need to defend their house. True. You don't. Right. But see, the the Second Amendment is not necessarily for us to defend me from the bad guy outside. No, it's, it's actually it's, supposed to defend us from the right. government. It's supposed to help us defend us from the government. Remember, America was built on, you know, an uprising, right? Like, And, you know, and let me know how that government defense works out for you when you try to defend yourself against and, and a government tyrannical really, government. The government really don't defend me very much being the black dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying, saying. You, you right? go on and like, defend yourself from a, from a, a illegal search and seizure mm -hmm. and see where that gets you. Oh no! You go ahead and defend mm -mm. yourself from mm -mm. A, an unjust arrest mm -mm. and see where that gets mm -mm. you. No, 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 no. Uh, as a black dude, I, I get killed for a lot less. On, on, like, when the same dude Listen. was selling cigarettes and got choked out, I got mean, choked to death. Like, mm -mm. I have a lot mm -mm. of police officers that are that are acquaintances of mine. I've trained a lot over the years, trained mm -hmm. with a lot of them over the mm -hmm. years. But if people want to talk about, unfortunately, if you want to talk about a gang, right? If you ain't wearing that 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 uniform, mm. you ain't on their team. Yeah, I mean, nothing personal. It doesn't mean they're assholes. It just means they're gonna look out for those uniforms first. Absolutely, because when we have you know such a large demographic of people, it's by nature we become tribal. By nature we become tribal. You will find someone or something to align yourself with. Like, yeah, absolutely. Whether I mean, most people do. That's that's not the golden rule here. But it's interesting because when we start talking about fear and how the fear of the the coronavirus mm. is like people. Are are becoming more desperate and desperate people listen desperate the, times are desperate measures yeah, hungry people make the best thieves right yeah <laughs> <laughs> shit is no joke a, a hungry motherfucker is gonna be in your house you know what i mean more people steal only people that steal for fun are fucking kleptomaniacs and teenagers and we're not a writer and Winona Ryder. Well, she's a clip to me. Does anybody even remember who the fuck Winona Ryder is? That's how, that's how old I am. <laughs> like, I, I know, she was in Beetlejuice or some shit, right? I don't know, man. All I know is that <laughs> she was a rich ass white lady that got caught stealing some shit. From, and I was like, Yeah, from a glowing star. I'm like, bitch, you got money. What the fuck are you doing? I guess she was doing that shit for sport. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hungry people make the best thieves. So th this kind of brings us to the next mm -hmm. point, right? Like, when we're talking about. You know, what is our society going to look like after the mm. coronavirus? Well, you know, it's, I think that depends on who ends up in the house, in, in the White House next. And let me, let me just say that and then almost recant it because mm -hmm. we know who's going to end up there. It's going to be 45 who's going to stay 45. It's going to be the orange bandit. It's going to be, uh, you know, Mr. Pumpkin yeah. or whatever else you want to call him, the yeah. original orangutan. Uh, whatever he that dude is going to be running things and the irony is mm -hmm. the reason why he's going to be running things is not because he's done such an amazing job my opinion right maybe right. some of y'all feel that he has your tax returns look amazing yeah, yeah he's trying to get the economy uh the economy back on track which i appreciate i can dig with that right even a broken clock is right twice a day i'm true. okay with that true, true. the problem is it's fucking biden is on the other end of the spectrum Ooh. Um, so you're telling us we don't want some decrepit older Caucasian dude mm -hmm. who's out of touch with reality running things yeah, and then you're gonna trade we, him for another yeah old decrepit white, white dude, dude who's, who's out, out of touch, touch with reality with, yeah. so <laughs> we, Joe I mean, Biden don't even know which way the camera is sometimes <laughs> I, I can't even I'm not even a Joe Biden hater right but he was talking well on one of the debates he was in the wrong direction they're like um excuse me mm -hmm, sir mm -hmm. Mr. Farmer VP mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. camera's over See, you know, you know what ends up happening? Why I, I feel like, because Bernie's about the game now, right? Bernie's got. He, Bernie I'm had to so tap out. Yeah, Bernie, uh, you know, endorsed Biden's, which means that he's trying not to dilute the party, right? Right. So I think what happens is, and I kind of want to caution 
individuals, when they start looking at the politicians and the politics, we often only really pay attention to the shit that we like to hear. Of course. So then I, I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty because like oh, if you see, t- I invest in my in my uh, conservative friends and my Republican mm-hmm. friends. I mm-hmm. invest. I discuss. I do it on purpose. Right. I mean, that's because you're you're an adjutant. You're yeah. an agitator. Yeah, I, of course. You are the dude. I want to know why y'all think the way you think. Right, right. But, I, I mean, when, when Bernie Sanders drops out of the race, and he he's a guy that thought that, you know, health care was a right for every American, and then all the, like, the super conservatives are waving right. the communist flag <laughs> of all this shit, right? Like, really? Socialist. Like, all the socialist flag. Lib- <laughs> right. People who are liberal are automatically socialist. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works either, but when he's no longer in, in the race anymore, right. uh, a lot of individuals start feeling disenfranchised. Now, now yeah. it's like, oh, fuck, I guess we gotta no. rock with Joe Biden, De- and then Dems are not gonna vote. Right, and they're then, not gonna vote. That's right. what that's what um, um, Cardi B. Cardi B was saying. Car, you know, Cardi I, what B. I say, what did I call her? The ghetto what? The ghetto I politician remember. or something like Look, that. Look, man. I, I, first of all, when we're talking about Cardi B, we're yeah. talking about a 28 year old, right? Yeah. She's very very young. But I think what's what's what I find to be intriguing about her is that she does, her speech is not polished. No, right? <laughs> you know, she is, you know what I mean not at all. A hood chick from the Bronx, right? Like uh, a, a good part of her catalog is about gang banging and sex and street politics and all kinds yeah. of wild shit. But what I what I find to be interesting is that even with her personality and how crazy she can be, there's still She's some very clear thoughts as, there. As hood as she is, as that, hood, is a, that is a, a real sharp Yeah, chick. she's very sharp. So so the question is, do artists and people with a social platform have an obligation to 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 the listenership, to the people that pay their bills? Like, Cardi B wouldn't be rich if, you know, motherfuckers wasn't buying her music and, sure. you know, shopping at Fashion Nova and doing shit. Like, she wouldn't have right. a dime, right? She'd be... Cardi B's ascension is pretty pretty crazy. Like she was a stripper, son. Like mm-hmm. she went from stripper to gang banging ass blood bitch to you know what I'm saying? Like son. <laughs> like, I want to be on Cardi B's team. Like, Fuck the dumb shit. The point the point that I'm trying to make here is is like when it comes to underrepresentation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Biggie said you either slang a crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot, right? right. And then Jay Z says all us blacks got are sports and entertainment. I always. I always listen to the, the athlete and the entertainer, but I personally would like to hear from some black intellectuals, like you know, there's you know, there's like a, like, like uh, um, Neil Neil Tyson DeGrasse. Right. So there's a bunch of people out there, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate Cardi B's no, uh, her I, points, he, man. Here's, I appreciate. You know why Cardi I appreciate B's Cardi so much mm-hmm. is because she says things. A she's she's a soundbite queen. Oh yeah, that, that coronavirus mm-hmm. shit. The coronavirus. coronavirus. <laughs> like, and you don't even know where it came from. But if it sounds nuts, you're like, I feel like Cardi and, B did that. And shit. you can't, and you can't even front like you didn't hear her voice in your head every time somebody said coronavirus. Like, coronavirus, yeah. like, oh shit. So, so she's she's the one hit like that, like that one liner all day long. Mm-hmm. The second off is I, you know, when I actually really started to like her, uh, I was never a huge fan of her music. I could get down with it, but mm-hmm. I really wasn't like, let me play that song again. Yeah, um, was when she was like with her nails about to hit the camera from here. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with my taxes? <laughs> Where are my taxes going? Yeah. And I was like, she's like, I want to know what y'all spend my tax money on yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I was like, that's a goddamn good question. It's a very rubber meets the road type approach. What did you do to, with yeah, it? Like, how come? How come on my tax returns, mm-hmm. I have to hire a fucking accountant, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. and a, a, a person, a tax preparer, CPA. a CPA, yep. to do all of this shit, yep. so I can prove to the government where my money went, right? Yeah, the money that you earned. The money that I earned, mm-hmm. but they're like, thanks, deuces. And I'm like, well, what you doing with my money? Stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, and then if we look, if we could audit, right? The, the, <laughs> if we could actually audit the government. They're going to shut that, down our show talking like that. I'm just saying, man, we would see that there's a lot of money spent on overseas, uh, overseas, uh, like, like, endeavors or overseas interests and a lot of military shit spent. I'll give, like, I'll give you like, a for instance. What about the potholes on fucking Figueroa? Cars? I'll give you a for instance. So <laughs> in LA County, mm-hmm. okay, and, and this is what I believe the numbers to be. If you know these numbers to be different, please post them below because this is what I read and this is what I got from my accountant. So mm-hmm. if they're wrong, please mm-hmm. tell me. They're, they allocated uh, the a portion of the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP. Mm-hmm. One of those programs was a ten thousand dollar grant. Okay. Okay. Now, for all of LA County, mm-hmm. they're only taking the first hundred and fifty applicants. Whoa. 
We live in a city that's approximately four and a half million people, five million. Whoa. Is that it? I think that's the number. 150? 150 for LA County, okay, right. at $10,000. So they allocated about $175,000. And so when my accountant told me that, I said, 175, 100, I. I'm not no math genius, but right. uh, that doesn't add up even to the 150. She said, no, they take 20% off the top. Right. And I was like, 20% for what? She's like, I have no idea. Uh, so for, before the money even got here, mm -hmm. it's already been dispersed. Mm -hmm. Like all those people, whoever had their hands out, wherever that money goes, it's already gone. Right. And then this was the other thing is, so she's like sitting on her computer, like, all right, it's going to be uh, Wednesday at, at 9 a.m. And then they moved it. Mm. Okay, it's going to be Thursday at 9 a.m. And then they were late. And mm. she's like, they haven't opened it yet. Okay, I got in. Okay, no, oh, no, now it fucking crashed. Mm. Excuse me. So fucking Pornhub and, and YouPorn and RedTube and all these other tube sites, I've never spoken to anybody that was like, I was trying to load porn videos and they just stopped playing. <laughs> They've got 5 million views and they just stopped playing. I don't know what happened. But, but fucking the, your system crashed, motherfuckers? Are hey, you, you know, kidding me? You know what I love about you, D? You have like a porn measuring stick. You've got like everything is measured in some type of. You have like a, a porn tape measure in your head. That's such a loaded statement. I'm not even gonna fuck with it okay, today. We really will. I'm just saying. How ironic is it? Hey, we have a stimulus package for you guys. Right. There was a meme that was going around that it was like um, uh, a Pornhub servers, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like. A, a row of like maybe a hundred feet of fucking servers and it just went off into nothingness mm. and then they were like government server it was like one fucking old school oh, HP shit. computer in a desolate it, room by listen, itself I don't like people that don't live in Los Angeles or don't live in Southern California or don't live in California they don't understand how large Los Angeles County actually is we're yeah. talking about this almost a hundred miles across from like Pepperdine to fucking right. Pomona like LA County is massive and to say that the, you know the stimulus is to to in order to stimulate LA County would cost a lot more money than that of course right well I've, I if you even do the the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say there's four million people. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm not on her Wi-Fi. That's why. Um, let's say there's four million people that that live in LA, LA County. County. Right. Let's just be conservative mm -hmm. and say that one fourth of them. Mm -hmm. That's a million, a million people. Okay. Right. My math is good so far. So far, so good. Um, let's say a million of them are small business owners of some capacity, which okay. is I think is way more. It's got to be way more. Than okay. That. Out of a million. Mm -hmm. You gonna give one hundred and fifty ten thousand dollars checks Ugh. out of a million? Yeah, you gonna just allocate a hundred and fifty ten thousand dollars? Right checks. now, I'm on like the the I call them rounds, right? Yeah. But we're dealing with with one of the banks, and we're on like our third round of of submitting uh, paperwork and stuff like that to get again PPP the the payment um, uh, paycheck protection program right. for the people that work for me. Um, yeah, I mean even even by your speculative math, that means that there will be like what. 900,800, no, yeah, 900,850 people that are just completely fucked. Out of that particular thing. <laughs> that now, thing. the reason why these like, ones are important. Your mom and pop shop, right. where you, they make the burritos and shit, fucked. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the good spot. You know what I mean? You know, Abuelita be putting her foot in that burrito. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She been doing that for like 40 years. You know, you know what I'm talking about. As of 2018, mm -hmm. so two years ago, we were just shy of 4 million people. That's fucking crazy. Three million nine hundred ninety thousand four hundred fifty-six. So, being that we're also one of the most expensive places to live in the country, right? What do you think about our stimulus package? Because most of you motherfuckers got your stimulus. You mean that, that shitty ass twelve hundred dollars? That little well, teeny first off, tiny. I don't qualify for it. No, because you're a business owner and you are. Uh, that's uh, not why I don't qualify for why it. Why don't you qualify? Because on taxes, I make too much money. Oh. As a business owner, oh. I've never made money. Oh. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Oh, yeah. um, but in because of adult. Well, right. two things. Number one, there's a a, a, a thought process. The, mm -hmm. the adult community has been completely shut out of all stimulus. Mm. Well, because you, you don't need to be stimulated anymore. No, no, no. You turned me down, bro. Oh, my bad, bro. My Damn, bad. I'm watch bad. what you fucking yeah, touch, turn boy. Turn my shit down, son. I'm there agitated and got itchy finger, bro. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Please, please, <laughs> please. Um, yeah, you, you adult motherfuckers don't need to be stimulated anymore. No, listen, you get paid. Do you know stimulated. how much money we get fucking taxed? I can't and imagine. Now, and now, 
they don't want to give us the money that they fucking charged us for so we're good enough to take the money from but, they but can't you're not give you good the money enough back. to give it back to us mm. these people these companies are fucking shutting down mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like they're mm -hmm. throwing in the towel because right. they can't get money right. to keep the people that are employed and the people that are employed at some of these companies are not performers mm -hmm, we're mm -hmm. all our own entities of right. sorts you know it's, it's funny is because like your industry is shut uh, down right now right you guys are you guys are not shooting at all not shooting at all right but no yeah completely shut down are, yeah you guys are not shooting at all and with people social distancing it actually makes it kind of kind of difficult to kind of facilitate other things but <laughs> if you if you're paying attention to like things like instagram hey, like what, what he's really trying to get at is we are hella jerking off right now yeah, everybody <laughs> we look, all jerking off like to anybody yeah, that will fucking yeah. watch and you late look man and look, we even drop the ladies, prices you ladies are not off the hook you know you scratching the record. You know you are getting it in. Like stop. Mm -hmm. You're not off the hook. But I think that what the quarantine has done is it's forced people to be far more be more creative with entertaining. Like you see these rappers, there's a bunch of battles. Have you seen any of oh, the battles? DJs? Yeah, or even um, the B um, battles. Um, um, it was RZA and um, and, uh, and Primo. Primo. Yeah, man, that was and dope. Dude. That was all the way dope. <laughs> Sound quality was whack, but who cares? Listen, you know what? Uh, I, I, I'm a RZA fan, right? But yeah. when, you, when you listen, I feel like Primo kind of exposed him, right? Oh, see, a lot of people thought that RZA was there to battle, and Primo is just that he's a, 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 a nighttime DJ, like a true a, a nightclub but DJ. But when you listen to RZA's, uh, RZA's catalog, mm -hmm. you realize that outside of his film score stuff, he's only done music with the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. Whereas, Pr whereas Primo's all over the place. Primo's got beats with Biggie. He's got shit nobody's ever heard he, like, before. Primo is the... Oh, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a bunch of shit that he played. I was like, yo. Mm -hmm. Right? And then, um, so... What I'm saying is like you know D Nice. I'm not sure if you guys uh, remember D Nice, My but name is D -Nice. yeah, I hate to admit it. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> so D Nice has got his uh, you know dun, 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 his parties dun, dun, that he does on dun, dun, Instagram. Oh, does he really? Yes. I don't know D Nice. D Nice is, is the shit. Uh, Jazzy Jeff is getting busy, and I think that I saw um, Afion Crockett and mm -hmm. uh, and my man that does the oh man his name he totally slips my mind. But they were doing impressions, mm -hmm. and it was. Uh, What's my man from uh, Def Jam, Fat Farm, uh, Russell, Russell Simmons, Simmons having a conversation with Steve Harvey, and it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and what was it, because these these guys are not standing on stage, and right. they have to figure out different ways to kind of generate interest in their brand and keep people. So you know, it's funny is my boy Tricks. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's like a comedian. Tricks. Mm -hmm. I gotta see what it is because I wanna I wanna promote his IG appropriately because he's on live every day. Mm -hmm. Um, and oh, comedian tricks with two X's, right? Mm -hmm. Hilarious. <laughs> My boy is off the chain fucking funny. He's fire. I've seen him a hundred times in, in, in person. A uh, very good friend of mine. And he does all these little things. And then he asks for like, like yo, here's my PayPal. Shoot me a couple dollars. I yeah. just entertained you, motherfucker. Yeah. I tap danced and right. shit. Hook it up. Yeah. Um, he does this thing. The DJ thing reminded me of him because he does um, the, the, what, like a DJ hour. I, oh, don't play the whole song, DJ. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? And it's all throwback shit. It's fucking hilarious. He's right. fucking great. Right. But getting, the reason why I thought of it is getting creative and getting out the box. He's been interviewing other comedians mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are, Mm -hmm. well established yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and and putting this out to his fans you know right. and I think it's fucking awesome that he's right. doing it but people are like oh why are you out here asking for money cause motherfucker I can't get on stage bitch yeah exactly like I mean you would pay to come see me right so just so what's a couple dollars yeah, like slide me like a couple you, phones right if, if you're gonna get on his his live feed mm -hmm. buy his fucking t-shirt right you know what I mean like right you know well I mean like I think that uh Entities like PayPal and even yeah. OnlyFans, right? Because yeah, yeah. OnlyFans doesn't only have to be for people getting naked, right? Like, but it is, <laughs> but it is. But there are other ADN ways stars. for 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 individuals to stream content. Like, yeah. like I mean, I'm, I, you will find I find myself being captivated with shit that I wouldn't even pay attention to because I just can't go outside and just you know. I got to be careful of what rabbit holes. Yeah, I get man, stuck in. I, Not even because the content is weird, mm -hmm. because I'll look up and it's been an hour and a half. It, I. I've been watching people turn fucking school buses into tiny houses. That has been my shit lately. <laughs> like, they put a bathroom? What the fuck is a composting toilet? They got solar panels on this bitch? They off the grid? Man, that's my shit right now. Watching people turn a fucking school bus into an apartment. I'm like, shit, hmm, they might have something. Hmm. 
Uh, the the amount of content what are people going to do mm-hmm. this is what we were talking about before, off camera right before we started is what are people going to do when we get back to normal and what is the normal, normal. going to be because we're not going to be on this forever obviously no it's going to change and one of the things i had been talking to um to a few people is i'm going to be really interested to see how corporate america mm-hmm continues the transition right because when you let's say have an office twenty thousand square feet or something like that mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. and and your monthly nut even at a dollar square foot's 20 grand yes, right yes yes and during during the the um stay at home order mm-hmm. lockdown whatever yeah, you want to call it lockdown. um exactly. everybody basically got like a two thousand dollar computer and said hey hook you up your wi-fi get online and right. start to do your work from home that's whatever a good it point is. that is a right? good point like why would you rent that space if you could just have a motherfucker do their job at home? wouldn't you go wouldn't it make sense to go maybe half the space yeah yeah, or something like absolutely. that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, th- th- is this this thing is going to change our economy and how business is done, like going forward perpetually, right? Like, I mean, some some jobs are actually in trouble at this point, right? Because right. you know what, um, the XFL, which I actually enjoyed, I, I thought the XFL, I was, like was it. Pretty One of good. my exes was, but they're done. They, they filed for bankruptcy. Oh, they're not coming, man. Right? Yep, they're not coming back next year. You know what I mean? And like, oh wait, you, no XFL. I'm thinking ladies for LFL. Oh, the LFL is kind of dope too, <laughs> but the XFL is 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 toast. Right? They're not coming back. And you think about how industry is changing. Like some, a lot of people are working from home. I mean, yeah. and a lot of motherfuckers are still going to work. So, like, what is it going to be? Essential. Like? Essential. Yeah. Which hey, is really weird. What's essential? Yo, shout out to all the the first responders and to all the nurses that are literally standing there on the front line. I'm not going to say thank you for your service because Mm -hmm. I kind of reserved that for military. Mm -hmm. But I will say thank you very much for your dedication to your job, to your profession, to your career and walking into places where you know that it is dangerous. Yeah, Yeah, because like I mean, I thoroughly appreciate that the hours that you guys work are already were insane Mm -hmm. before this i know a bunch of medical professionals and healthcare uh uh uh, professionals that are working already before this was 12 hour shifts right like what was it um i had this conversation with someone talking about yo are you feeling sick you'd be like yeah but i'm not going to the hospital what i'm gonna go get the cooties fuck that i know i'll stay at home i know that shit is at the hospital right now everybody would just do that until they're uh i'm dying yeah (laughs) then 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 the curve would be flat as fuck yeah but because then motherfuckers would just die at home (laughs) so why clog up the medical (laughs) places with this shit stay your ass in the living room and just you know make make peace with jesus and go on and see him then right is that is that the plan i guess (laughs) Yeah, going forward. I feel like if you're in the hospital right mm-hmm. now, it's because you really cannot be anywhere else. Holy shit. I'm, you, but th- that's the way it should be, right? I'm just I'm saying. No, I mean, if I was like, uh, and like, oh, I'm going to go get checked out. Fucking for what? I'm going to go get tested. Why? Mm-hmm. I fucking stay at home. Mm-hmm. I know exactly who I come in contact with every mm-hmm. day because I get in contact with them every day. I know their pattern. Mm-hmm. And I'm not feeling anything. So why am I going to go clog up testing facilities? Right, you so know what I mean. That's interesting because I um I was walking in the CV- CVS today, right? Yeah. And there's a, a massive sign outside of CVS that says, "If you think you have the coronavirus, or if you have the coronavirus, call this number." And if you call that number, they're gonna say, "Stay at home unless you are dying." Basically, right? Yeah. yeah. Because what ends up happening is like you're saying, like you're saying, is that it's clogging up the channel to those people that really need help. You're like we're talking about a shortness in ventilators, a shortness of just medical attention. Like people don't understand that. The, you know, in a hospital, it's about triage. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, like, so if this lady has her water breaks and you got a broken arm, your broken arm can fucking wait. You know what I mean? Like, that's the way yeah. it works. So what ends up happening is you got the sniffles and you've been watching YouTube and, and fucking Instagram and they told you that the 5G cell phone is causing the coronavirus and you got the sniffles, you got a runny nose and you're like, oh my Lord, I'm going to die. Then your motherfucking ass is sitting there taking up a space for someone that yes. actually really Very needs it. So. Right. So, yeah, when I looked at that sign, I was like, uh, they have to tell people to stay at home because they know motherfuckers are scared. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah. Hmm. So I, getting back to the to the changes in the aftermath of this, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You guys don't go back to school for the rest of the year. Oh, man. It's it's a sad, sad thing, right? Yeah. It's uh, I think what happens is like education and our our educational system as flawed as it is right cuz our educational our educational system is not perfect and, and right. you know we talked about the problems with our educational system but what happens is you know there's a latin term in locos parentos right like 
in yeah, the in space, Lua, right. in the space of the parent not being there, right. the teacher is the parent, right? right? So what ends up happening is that these children become accustomed to, to having interaction with the adult. Not only interaction with the adult, they become accustomed to having interaction with their friends. Can you imagine if you were a high school senior right now? Your prom is fucked. Yeah. Ain't Your no grad, grad night. night. Ain't no walk and, across the stage. You know, <laughs> like, you got to think, if you got accepted to Berkeley, right, and that shit starts in the summer, your high school's talking about, yo, come back and do the walk across the stage in the summer. You're like, fuck that. I'll be at Berkeley by the time that shit start popping off. So, yeah, man, um, school is all the way weird. Uh, it's all the way weird. But, like, my kids are just happy to see me on a Zoom meeting but, if I'm not even talking about shit. They're like, Mr. Dawson. So, so I know what it's done to parents having to be at home now mm -hmm. and teaching their kids and stuff like that. Yeah, did you see, there's a meme, right? There's a little boy and he was like, spell garbage. And he was like, G-A-R-B-I-T-C-H, garbage. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's homeschooling working right there. That's homeschooling. I, listen, parents don't want to homeschool any more than teachers want them to fucking homeschool. And, but you know what people are not paying attention to, right? Is that, yeah, you have some parents that are staying at home because they have jobs that right. say they can stay at home. But the average impoverished family, dumb parents is going to work. So what ends up happening is that the older child becomes like the parent in the household, right? Like right. So let's say that you got a kindergartner, right? A five-year-old right. and you got a 17-year-old and you got like a third grader. Well, third grade is what? Like fucking eight years old or some shit? And then the parents got to go to work well then it's that 17 year old's job to kind of provide them with food and make sure everything's cool yeah, look and, out for them. yeah i mean 99.9 percent .9 of these little motherfuckers is on tiktok and playing xbox and playing playstation anyway right you know what i mean but for the most part the children of poverty the the older child is the one that's running the shit the parents you know broke ass parents gotta go to work i think it's going to be outside of schools obviously they've already been shut down and they're mm -hmm. like fuck it um I think that after wherever you're at um, gets back to normal, aka no more stay at home, mm -hmm. okay, I think it's going to be at least six months before businesses are starting to fully recover. Right. Because, like, for my gym, I mean, this is not. This is not something that they're going to transition to right. Like, oh, thank God the virus is under control. Stay at home order is gone. We can mm -hmm. go back to the gym now. Financially, they might not be able to. I'm glad you said that. Financially, they I'm, might still be stuck. So it's going to be six that. months before yeah. they have the extra $170 a month mm -hmm. to pay for their membership. I'm glad you said that because originally uh, I thought, I, I misthought that once this stay at home order is over, that people are just going to run out and spend money. No. But how the fuck are you going to spend money when you, you ain't, ain't got, got no money? Right? And the whole idea of that the $1,200 stimulus. That $1,200 stimulus, right? The idea of the $1,200 stimulus was that let's put money into the communities, into the hands of the citizens. The fuck is $1,200 going to do in LA County? I mean, I understand this is California, right? Or, well, it's actually across the country, $1,200, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It, it, I mean, what? we said this last week, right? If you live in South Carolina, uh, look, yes, hey, yes, hey, yes. Hey, 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 I'm not hating on South Carolina, but if you rent a house, a two bedroom house or a three bedroom house for like 800 bucks, you can't tell me shit, okay? No, so, no shut no, the I don't fuck wanna, up. Shut the fuck Sit up. down. You yeah. got your rent paid for a you, month and a half. You good, you good, because you can't rent shit in Los Angeles for $1,200. You can't rent a, I can't rent a car for $1,200, $1, right? So when we're talking about like, what is going to happen immediately? That twelve hundred bucks is going to come and go. People it's are going to be more broke. This, this shit is gone. Than they ever had. Like twelve hundred dollars don't last a, last a weekend in Cali. Right. So if we're going to like pull this thing together, right? Yeah. We're talking about uh, recession. We're talking about companies corporately restructuring their oh, business yeah, 100%. model. Oh yeah, percent. By because uh, some of these companies are going to have to downsize. They're going to have to downsize, right? Well, and now they're going to take this into consideration as they grow mm -hmm. because we ain't done. No, no, no. We're just dealing with Corona now. Right. Who knows how long it's going to take to recover? Right. And who knows what the next thing is going to be? Right. What okay. is the next? I can't help it. I'm sorry. What? Oh, I thought you was talking about you know. The producer in their phone, and I'm over here cheesing for the phone. You just fucked up the whole flow of the fucking show because your ADD kicked in. I'm still single, ladies. You can slide in them DMs. Don't forget. Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, you're still don't single because you got fucking ADD. Yeah, but we quarantine sliding right now. Just go on quarantine slide for you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Would, would you get on like a FaceTime call and just like uh, mutually uh, jerk off for each other? That actually might be kind of hot, though. That, that might be kind of... You should do that shit. I do do that shit. And I charge <laughs> money for it, motherfuckers. You know, I, I would consider a career change. And, and I do, and I do uh, um, uh, humiliation jerk-offs. 
I don't even know what that means, but it sounds fucking horrible. That, that, that no, it's where I talk shit to the person and be like, you know, you ain't even good enough to touch me. Fuck you. You better get back and watch me, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever ridiculousness pops into my head to demean and humiliate the other person. Is, is that the porn version of be creative during the quarantine? They pay me a lot of money for that. Hey, channel. man, do what the fuck you got to do. A son. lot of money. Uh, to, hey, 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 hey. A hey. lot. Hey, 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 hey. Look, man. I'll I, call you a dirty fucking whore if you want to pay me i'll probably call you that for free but <laughs> if you want me to jerk off and do it i have to charge you for that oh shit it's that's not, it's not personal yeah. it's just that's the way the world works these penises for rent ladies yeah. it's for rent you I, can rent I, rent sounds so cheap i, I feel like uh, for, for hire for, for hire i like leasing for hire it's for hire yeah penis for hire. For hire. <laughs> it yes. has a resume it's got headshots it's got uh you know some some film time. There's ample footage if you need references. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's a professional. He's out there. He's he's in I'm, the wild. I'm with it. He's you know church out there. Speaking of wild, mm -hmm. um, I heard Mayweather. Ooh, Floyd's little girl, Yaya Mayweather. Right. So she allegedly, right, stabbed her baby mama of her boyfriend. Allegedly, this girl, at one o'clock in the morning. She's only nineteen years old, right? Nineteen, and I mean, you know how when the charges first come out, they 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 lay those charges out like she's a regular person, yeah, right? Because a regular, if that was just some regular little nineteen-year-old bitch, she'd be done, right? She'd yeah. be complete. It would be over for her. They said this little girl's looking at ninety-nine years. It's like. Come on, man. Let's this is Mayweather's daughter. Let's be honest. Like he's one years. of the richest athletes in the world. Look, I'm. You know what I'm more interested in hmm. is that civil suit. Because when that little bitch got the other bitch that got stabbed was like, "Thank you, <laughs> I'm winning." Because she didn't die for 99 yeah, years. Yeah, but who knows what complications she's gonna? Oh have. no, 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 no. You, you. She didn't get fucked up for free. It's gonna cost. You know what I'm saying? She's but who's she gonna sue? A civil suit, man. This little girl, I don't know what the other girl's name is, even though they did release her name. I'm just not going to say it. Right. But she was um, she was claiming that now her, you know, she's got some mental health issues. Uh, but once she, again, you know, her, her who, privacy has been violated. Who is and she going to sue? Civilly sue Yaya Mayweather. Sue the Mayweather family. Well, she, you can't sue the Mayweather family. If she didn't stab me, I wouldn't be having these nightmares about being fucking stabbed. But you can't, you can't sue Floyd Mayweather at all. Mm -mm. You sue and, his daughter and be like, pony up the bread. Yeah, but what if he's like, sorry, bitch. <laughs> and then you're fucked. <laughs> then you're all the way fucked. But, hey, it's, it's a better shot than uh, trying to sue that, you know, the humiliation that you receive from some random person. I mean, the last name is Mayweather, which means there's right. some bread that's attached to that shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there is going to be a civil suit. There is most definitely Oh, I agree, but I'm just going saying, she's going to she gonna sue suit. a 19-year-old and thinks she's going to get paid? That she's suing a 19-year-old Mayweather. She like, look, I'm having nightmares. I can't walk past anything sharp. I see something shiny. I start catching hives. Like, look, man, you remember when Ezel fell down? In, in, in liquor oh, store my back my, my neck, neck my, my back, neck and my back my neck and my back that's what that bitch should be talking about my neck my back my neck and my back I'm all the way fucked up so wow, you just so you're just you're all about uh, uh, ripping ripping off the, look, the powers to be mm -mm, huh? fuck that no look look man would you rather get hit by a car by somebody driving a fucking uh, geo storm right wow. by somebody <laughs> driving wow. uh, you know what I'm saying or or someone driving that Rolls Royce Phantom I get you. Yeah, I'll be like, let's talk about it, right? Like, it I, I'm not, I'm, but I'm just saying. Like, Most of you motherfuckers don't know what a geo storm is. So. I know. That's why I was like, wow. <laughs> I know exactly what a geo storm is. Geo Metro. It, it's barely a car. Uh, what is it? A Hyundai Sonata. Hyundai the Sonata, Sonata was not a, way better than the, the geo, geo Metro storm. Yeah. storm. Yeah, it's not not that bad, but I, I ain't driving one of them shits. Let me. Not, not I. Didn't you have some rants about women? Man, I feel like you had a rant. Do we have time for this? We do. Okay, listen. Um. So the question <laughs> hey, is, we do. We absolutely today have time. I got time, guys. <laughs> Yesterday I didn't have time, cause but today, today, I, today got I, time, I got time. So. No, um, should women be aware of like the power of the female sexuality? Should they be aware? Like because in do you my think opinion, most women are not aware of it. I think that I think that maybe they don't pay enough. Just uh, this is a very very broad stroke that I'm painting with, right? But uh, chivalry is a fucking suggestion. Right, like it's chivalry has to be taught. Yes, so, but chivalry's always had to be taught. Right, but sometimes, sometimes women don't 
Don't understand the power. No, man. I don't know if they under power, understand the power of, you know. Of the uh, pussy. Of the, listen, Bell Biv DeVoe said it best. Don't trust a big butt and a smile. And sometimes these I ladies. Didn't Jay-Z say it too? The, power probably. of the P-U-S-S-Y? Listen, I don't know if, if they pay as attention to, like, the fact that us guys are inundated. We're drenched. We're soaked in, like, sexual images of what a woman looks like drenched and soaked drenched in relation to women be objective women being objectified yes because sometimes they get drenched too though but the point is is that like case in point would you want your 18 year old 20 year old daughter wearing very little clothes at you know walking down hollywood boulevard at two o'clock in the morning no but I wouldn't want her walking down two o'clock in the morning on hollywood boulevard in any clothing in any clothing but see my point is is that like is I guess it's because I'm somewhat traditional and somewhat chivalrous, and I think that you know there's a the I'm chivalrous too. I pull out chairs for these hoes. I pull out chairs for these bitches. <laughs> I open doors for tricks and everything. <laughs> so my point is, is that like guys are fucking stupid. Like we, yes, like, I would, ag- we're, we're I would dumb, agree with right? that. Like, Men are stupid. Look, yes, and, I, and I and I am not above the bar here, right? No. So so there's gonna be times when dudes do dumb shit because of sex. Right. Yes. And I think that what would some dumb shit be? What would you do that was dumb for sex? Well, you know, if you go back an episode, right? Uh, yes. To I was sitting at a park bench with uh, you know a lady that I met, and uh, this was the first day during yeah during the quarantine time. Was there a second date? There was a second date, but the second date was was nice and PG thirteen. It was just a walk on the beach. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna throw you under the bus, please. But but you know, but but once once again, the power, the power, right? So all I'm saying is that if we're gonna talk about girl power, yes. and we're gonna talk about women being strong, uh, I think that it's important for women to understand how, how strong the uh, like the beauty that they carry is, how how much how influential it can be. Like you have these women that transition from being Cardi B, transition from being you know a stripper. Right, right to being individual in society in our in our popular culture with an opinion, and that's a very look. Cardi B went from zero to hero, my nigga. Like Cardi B's the, the, the beast. Like I, yeah, that's, man, that's, sorry. That's, I can't help it, man. I'm sorry. That's my new political hero, right there. Yeah, all I'm saying is, and, and in fact, you can't really watch a Cardi B video without her ass cheeks being, you know, love the ass cheeks. I'm just saying, but that is literally Cardi B, the power. Me of you know the female sexuality and it's almost to the point where you have ladies that will do whatever they can to recreate these images that they see right. and it builds a lot of negative uh what self-esteem when they don't look like this chick or they don't look like that chick because they're not as but that's sexually not our attractive. fault no that's not our fault that's at women's all. fault but so that's the that's the knife that's cutting both ways right no that like, kind that knife cuts one way we were jerking off to thick chicks fucking 50 years ago true okay that's not our fault we were cool with size 12 <laughs> size 13s I didn't give a fuck okay none of n- betty davis uh marilyn man uh, marilyn davis? manson marilyn, marilyn manson monroe Dude. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> um, uh, give me some others. Uh, Sophia Loren. All these old um, white ladies, bro. You got me with this shit. I'm talking. Oh, I'm talking Claire Huxtable. You know Claire Huxtable was I'm bad, talking bitch. about vintage. You're talking about fucking 90s. Stop it. That's the 80s. Listen. The, like a lot of my shit starts in the 80s. Oh, God. The point is we loved those <laughs> curves then. And we were like, yes, yes, yes. We're cool with that. Size 12. I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. And then women were like, we like skinny bitches. And we were like, hmm. <laughs> The bitch is still naked. Fuck it, and then we just <laughs> stay going. Like. Hey, but 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 how but how trends have have swing, right? Have swung, yeah. Now all the right? white girls want black girl all, booties. All the white girls want black girl. Cultural appropriation, Dude, right? Cultural appropriation. We, I like it called it uh, uh, appreciation. Appreciate. Okay, I'll take that. Cultural look, appreciation. Look, I, I want ladies to be aware because dudes are dumb, and the, it's a very 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 powerful thing to be beautiful. Right, like in their society. Telling and oh my god, Jesus (laughs) Christ! (laughs) Did I just throw you an alley oop? It's a gift and a curse all at the same time. I'm like, please stop, please, please, please stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, on that note, 
I think we're pretty much done for the day, aren't we? Are we done for the day? Is that yeah. what, you want to cut me off because yeah. I was having a fucking moment, yeah, an epiphany of beauty? It's, it's almost like you jerking off, and I'm in the room, and it's like getting uncomfortable. Like I wouldn't. Why did you go there? Because you're like we had <laughs> already passed that exit. Why are you turning around on the freeway going north? I'm just saying, man. You you, you was you was you was you was in your zone for now. A second. Was not the time to go and south, it, sir. It seemed like going south. Pause. You see what I did there? Pause. I set it up for north. And then made it go south. Pause. Yeah. Pause. Listen, thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. Shout out to D'Lo Brown. Yes. D'Lo Brown. We, um, you know what? We got to send the video uh, that D'Lo was nice enough to, to do for Mr. Kip with no T here yeah, that's, that's um, to our producer. And maybe she can put it at the end of the video or yes, something like that. Yes. That would be, that'd be yeah, really cool. Yeah, because D'Lo shouted me out. And I, yeah, I big time. Big, big time. time. So, yo. Hey, where can they find us? We can be found on YouTube. On um, Spotify, yeah, and um, IGTV, and also uh, Facebook. Facebook, we're definitely on Facebook. Yeah, and all access might, broadcasting. All access broadcasting. You can find us. We out iTunes. There. Just Google Scholar and Center. You can find us. We out there, motherfucker. YouTube, YouTube. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. We need subscribers. One more time. Yes. Like, comment. I don't care if it's a thumbs up, if it's a heart. Like, Listen, comment, subscribe. If I got to give you a free jerk off video to subscribe, let's go on and handle this shit. <laughs> you ain't getting that type of shit from me. You, you can get that type of shit from him. Okay, <laughs> shit. My mama would never forgive me for some shit like that. <laughs> mama doesn't know where to start to forgive me yet. Yeah, true, true. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day, night, yes. whenever you're listening to this. We got gotcha. you. Holla, love. <laughs>